Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to Bridges. I'm your host Rafi Abdul Malik. As usual, we have Dr. Najee Al Fadj joining us all the way from Saudi. Assalamu alaikum, Doctor. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you? How are you finding Egypt? Just wonderful. Great. You've actually tasted some of the local dishes. Mm -hmm. Have you tasted the kushari? Very nice. Inshallah. <laughs> Very <laughs> delicious. Yes, alhamdulillah. I'm, great. I'm glad you like it. Alhamdulillah. Well, we've been discussing about the concept of Allah, the oneness of Allah. However, we're at the point at discussing in depth the questions that are most frequently asked. I want to start off, Sheikh, by asking, you know, there are many questions. When we talked about Muhammad, sallam, we took a look about M Moses, Jesus, who, who, you know, do, are they similar, all these things. But I want to ask you now, whom should we worship? Who, you know, why should we worship and whom should we worship? Very good. This is another major question that, that millions of people mm. could ask. Whom should we worship? So we talked about the true God, mm. the Creator, and then we can go back to this question. Yes. So we are supposed to worship the true God, okay. the Creator alone. Mm. We are not, you know, supposed to worship any other deities or any holy objects okay. or humans. We are supposed we are actually obliged, mm. obliged to, to worship the true one. Okay. God does not tolerate associating partner, partners with him. Yes. Even in the Quran, you know, uh, I, I refer to the Bible before. Yes. The Bible states that God, according to the Bible, yes. maybe I don't like to use this, but uh, the Bible says God is a jealous God. Okay. He tolerates no rivals okay. with him. We cannot say God is jealous mm. because he's supreme. He's yes. perfect. But the Bible states that he tolerates no rivals with him, okay. no partners mm. to be taken mm. with him. In the Quran, it confirms this concept very clearly. It says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not accept in Allah la yaghfir, that Allah does not forgive in Allah la yaghfir, la, in Allah la yaghfir a yushraka mm -hmm. in Allah that Allah does not forgive associating partners with Him. So if we make partners with Him, this is unforgivable sin. Yes. This is the unforgi unforgivable sin in Islam. Okay. This cannot be forgiven to as associate mm -hmm. partners with who? With the true Allah, the Creator, the true one. Okay. So I guess what you're saying actually, Doctor, is, you know, we believe in Islam. We don't believe in anyone, no, n you know, no statues, nothing. We just believe in one God, Allah, and we cannot associate any partners. He is the most high, the most beneficial, the most magnificent. So we pray to him. So that's great, Doctor. Indeed, this is mm. the truth and the plain and easy truth in Islam. Mm. It shows us the pure oneness, pure yes. monotheism, mm. pure submission. And this is what makes Islam so perfect and so unique. Yes. It's so clear in terms of the worship. Yes. We do not pray in the name of Jesus okay. or in the, in the name of Peter or even in Islam, we do not pray in the name of Muhammad no. or any saints. We, when I say Ali or Wali, I mean Wali means a saint. Yes. We don't have someone holy no. except holy only the, ho the only holy one is Allah. Allah. Yes. We respect them. We yes. love them. Yes. We put them on the right you know, level on the on the, yes. uh, the right place okay. as a prophet, okay. as a companion, as a righteous person, as a sheikh, mm. as a alim, as a scholar, but not to be praying to him, not to pray to him, okay. not to bow down. Oh, my dear uh, holy man, give me this, yes. or let my uh, wife have children. Okay. No, at all. Of Islam course. teaches us, if you make dua, 
Yeah. If you ask Allah, if you want to ask anything, if you need anything, just ask Allah. Right. رَبُّكُمْ أُدْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ yes. your, Lord, your Lord has said, call upon me yes. and I will answer you. Great. It's a perfect point, Doctor. So what you actually, to sum that up, what you're trying to say, uh, uh, to, to round that up is, we believe in Allah as one. We, we believe in Muhammad. However, we're not going to pray to Muhammad. We pray to Allah because he is the only person, if I can say person, Allah is the knower of everything and he is the only being, being mm -hmm. that can actually mm -hmm. figure out what we are, do everything. Muhammad is just a man. Exactly. Great. And th this is what uh, the Quran told us. Yes. I am but a man like yes. you. Uh -huh. Remember that yes, when we refer to the ayah, well, that I am but a man mm -hmm. like you. Mm -hmm. And even Jesus, in the Bible, since we are using a comparative approach in yes. this program, mm -hmm. Jesus in the Bible, in Matthew, when he, when he was put on the cross, mm -hmm. he said, now you seek to kill me, mm -hmm. a man, a man mm -hmm. who has told you the, tr the truth. So Jesus himself told his people that he was just a man. Yes. Okay, now let me go to another beautiful ayah or a verse in the Quran. It says okay. clearly, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he created jinns and humans okay. only to worship me, okay. to worship him. The Bible, same thing. Okay. We can go to Matthew chapter 4, verse 10, where, the, where Jesus said to Satan, worship your Lord alone okay. and serve him only. SubhanAllah. Well, there's something that, you know, a quick question that I want to ask you, for those who don't know, what, what in the Quran you referred to a jinn? God created man and jinn to worship him alone. We Obviously, we know what mankind is. However, for those who don't know, what is a jinn? What? Just, uh, jinns is another, you know, some might call them spirits. Okay. Like spirits. Mm -hmm. They are unseen by us. Okay. But they are part of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm -hmm. that he created jinns, mm -hmm. spirits, and humans in addition to animals, insects, Okay. You name it. SubhanAllah. Mm -hmm. Fascinating point. So what we're figuring out is, you know, God created man and jinns to worship him, him and him alone, to defy no other God apart from Allah and to make sure that we, we believe and we respect all prophets. Mm -hmm. However, do not worship anyone, anything apart from himself, Allah, the creator. Actually, this is the original and a pure message yes. of all the prophets and messengers yes. throughout history mm -hmm. to believe in God and worship Him alone. SubhanAllah. Mm -hmm. Subhanallah. Okay, now let's go please to another main question. Who are we? Yes. Who are we? Are we just humans to eat? Are we created as humans? to eat and drink, sleep, play, work, mm -hmm. and that's it? So who are we? Exactly. You know, Doctor, it's a very fascinating question because this is another question that I asked, who, you know, who are we? And we will discover, you know, and another question that we'll begin to talk about is why are we here? So, you know, let's start by saying, who, who are we? Mm -hmm. Who are we as a race? Who are we as people? Who are we as a culture? Very good. Let's let's join or let's add that question. Another, an, the other question that mm. you are talking about. So, why are we why are we here? Yes. So we can answer these Together. two questions. Yes. Who are we? Who are we? Yes. And why are we here? Exactly. So we must know ourselves first. Yes. And then when I know myself then I have to ask, what is the purpose? Yes. What's the reason? Why? Exactly. Why I am here? Exactly. Is it why I'm here in this place, in this studio? 
why I'm here in this country or in this place or the big question why are we here in this world yes in other words why were we created exactly what Do is the purpose yes Doctor, it's a fascinating question. That is a, a question, you know, why are we here? We can all figure out in this modern day life, we have, you know, psychology, psychiatrists figuring out for people. They are searching for something. They are like lost souls. I, I, I find like in the West, people are depressed. They go to a psychologist, they go to a psychiatrist. I, I'm searching. So they're soul searching. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions that you know mainly asked is why are we here as people let's figure out that together it's some uh, you know something very crucial that you know to figure out why did god put us on this earth is it because of something is it for a purpose are we here to serve a purpose are we here just for fun are we here to relax because you know people may say there's restrictions in islam you have many restrictions. You cannot do this. You cannot do this. You can only do this. Let's figure out that now, right, Doctor? You know, brother, the Quran gives us beautiful answers. Mm. If we go to the Quran, and this this is my personal brotherly yes. advice to my dear viewers. Yes. Let's go back to the word of God, yes. the Quran, the last mm. revelation mm -hmm. sent to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You, you will find your answers you yes. find you will find answers for your questions yes so you we will we will find easy just easy and plain answers that we can comprehend okay. as i mentioned before that allah created humans and jinns spirits to worship him great in another verse allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that i created you and those who were before you to worship me. Well, Doctor, I have to stop you there because that's all we have time for in this part. Join us after the break where we'll continue this discussion. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome back to Bridges. Before the break, we were discussing why are we here and the reason. Let's t talk further, Doctor. We were talking, you know, why are we here? What's the purpose? Why are we on this earth? Beautiful. Brother, I was, before the break, well, I was referring to the Qur'an, mm -hmm. that the Qur'an answers these critical questions. Yes. Like, who are we? Yes. Why are we here? Okay. If, you, if I may, please, let me go to a verse to share with you, a verse from the Qur'an. Inshallah. It says, O mankind, O mankind, all mankind, not yes. O Muslims, no. O Arabs. Yes. Just, let's, let's listen to that beautiful verse. It says, yes. O mankind. Ya ayyuhannas, O mankind, worship your Lord, worship your Lord, mm -hmm. who created you, created all of us. Yes. All of us were created by who? We are created by? Allah. Allah. O mankind, worship your Lord, mm -hmm. who created you and those who came before you, that you may become righteous. The end is, yes. the goal is yes. to become righteous, to have piety, taqwa, mm. and being righteous. Another beautiful verse. It is He, it is He, Allah, the glorious, the, the gracious, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, gra the gracious creator. It is He who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. So all things, all objects, all humans yes. are created by him. Yes. Obviously and logically, we have to go back to who? Allah. To Allah. To worship him. Yes. To thank him. I mentioned this earlier. Yes. That in the middle of crisis, in the middle of any problem, in the middle of an ocean, mm -hmm. When people have difficulties, they usually wear direct their faces. They they usually direct their faces where? Up. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Some of them G. Yes. Who's G? Yes. Jesus? Exactly. Can Jesus help you? 
Allah. You go to him, the one who created Jesus. Yes. Oh my God. Allah told us, mm -hmm. Your Lord said, call upon me, uh -huh. pray to me, I will answer you. Yes. So the answer comes from where? Allah. From Allah alone. Subhanallah. This is why we are here. Yes. To know him, to worship, and to worship him. As the Quran says, yes. that he created you and those before you, those who were before you, that you become righteous. Yes. SubhanAllah. Mm -hmm. so, so we have to discover more about it. Yes. About the truth. In depth. About the reason, the purpose, our purpose of life. What is your purpose yes. in life? You can ask some people, what is your purpose behind you know, this life? Exactly. Just, I have no idea. Exactly. Doctor, it's, it's a question you know, that's profoundly asked why I'm here. As I mentioned previously, before the break, you know, in the West, is, you know, you're, you're soul searching. So you go to the doctor, the psychiatrist, the psychologist. I, you know, I'm not very well. I need some you know, evidence. I need help. It's about searching for the truth. And this program is all about searching and soul searching. And if, if, if we figure it out, why are we here? Are we here just to, you know, play to, you know, like I mentioned, people are saying Islam, they restrict us. We can only do certain things. Like, for example, people may say, you can only eat halal meat. For those who don't know halal meat, it's, you just say bismillah and cut it, and you, you, you slaughter the animal in the correct way. And they say, you know, gosh, you can't eat this meat. You can only eat this. You can only do this. Why are you punishing yourself on this earth? Let's figure out what, you know, as we know as Muslims, we're not punishing ourselves. Mm -hmm. This is just a small mercy. This is a small sacrifice that we, we are prepared as what we're going to find out for, for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. As we've discovered, this life is a test. Mm -hmm. This life is something for us for tomorrow. Does it benefit us? Does it benefit Allah? Does it benefit Muhammad? Who does it actually benefit? And why are we here mm -hmm. and what for? By the way, Brother Rafi, when people think that we have in Islam, mm -hmm. they think that we have many restrictions. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I ask them, mm -hmm. who is more knowledgeable? We or God? Yes. God is all knowing. Yes. He is all aware of all things. Mm. So when he says, don't drink wine, yes. Allah knows best. Uh -huh. When he says, don't eat pork, for example, mm -hmm. Don't steal, don't have illegal sex, for okay. example, haram mm -hmm. sex. Mm -hmm. Allah knows best. Yes. And all the prophets, all the messengers came with the same commandments. Yes, the same message. Same message. Mm. Don't kill, don't steal, mm -hmm. don't make a false testimony, yes. don't cheat, don't yes. tell a lie. Generally speaking, you know, for example, if you go to UK mm. or to the USA, mm -hmm. usually they give you an orientation course. Yes. When I go to school, in the first week, I went to Michigan State University. Yes. And in the first week, they gave, they gave us an orientation course, yes. both the do's and don'ts. Yes. And this is merely for our benefit. Yes. To understand the society. Uh -huh. To understand how to deal with those who are around us. Yes. The do's and don'ts sometimes, or if not most of the time, That's a great point. for, for bene our benefits. Yes. So what you're actually saying to us, Doctor, you know, it's written, Allah wrote in the Quran, what was sent down to Muhammad, don't do these small things to benefit yourself because, you know, it's clear Allah knows everything. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've discovered this. So Allah knows it's wrong to do these things and we are not going to benefit from doing these bad actions. Mm -hmm. You know, Doctor, I just want to clear something up, you know, before a Muslim. You know, I wasn't a bad person. However, I, I, I felt, why have I done this action? I felt, why have I done this action? Or what, why did I do this? And I sat there, you know, for maybe an hour, 
trying to ask myself, why did I do this action? And it become clear after in the Quran, don't do this, one, two, and three, because, you know, it, it's not good for you. It does not benefit you. Mm -hmm. Allah, as we're finding out, only wants to benefit you. And, I, I, you know, I'm a great believer, and I do believe, and I hope the viewers pick up on this, you know, Allah is only interested in you when you believe in yourself. When you when you found it in your heart and in your head that, you know, only believe in Allah, Allah will give you everything. Allah's going to benefit you ten times than ever. Great. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Yes. And what he commands us to do, mm -hmm. it's, it is for our own benefit. Yes. We have to believe in that. Yes. Who's... Who, is, who has more knowledge? Mm -hmm. We have limited knowledge. Yes. We have limited sight. Exactly. Then, or uh, as a result, mm -hmm. as a result, sometimes we, we don't know the wisdom. Of course. Allah says, don't eat pork. Mm -hmm. don't, eat, uh, don't, for example, eat this or that. Mm -hmm. But we have many, many lawful things. Yes, of course. If we do not drink wine, for example, in Islam, well, mm -hmm. it's prohibited, mm -hmm. but we have many, many things to drink. Yes. Like, you know, juices, Juice, water, yes. you name it. Everything. So, uh, you know, something crucial to drink wine or, you know, things that we can't drink. This is not beneficial to, to ourselves. It doesn't benefit ourselves. It, it, hurts. it hurts. It hurts. Yes. And they say usually in the West, don't drink and drive. Yes. And you ca we can't tell about that. The bad consequences of yes. drinking, yes. killing, raping, yes. doing horrible things. Bad things. So wh why? Exactly. Why? It's a big, it's a big why. Why Allah told us don't do it. Yes. It's for our, exactly. for, for our benefit and for the mm. benefit of, of our societies. Exactly. Touching upon that point, Doctor, you know, you've just touched something, you know, very crucial by saying in the West, you know, we have advertisements. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing quite clearly in the West, too many advertisements. Do not do this, do not do that, because it doesn't benefit you. I mean, if you look at statistics in the hospitals of how many you know, cases or accidents we have because people are drinking, mm -hmm. and where does it lead to? So let's not focus upon you know, the drinking or you know, what's wrong, because we, we know it doesn't benefit us. You know, we, we focused upon you know, why are we here, and let's, let's look and focus now why, you know, basically, why are we here? Great. Let's let's just conclude this point. Yes. Saying we must know the reason mm -hmm. or the purpose behind our existence. Yes. Why I am here. Great. Why, you know, wh why God created me. Yes. Why did He create me? That's it. He created me for a great purpose. Exactly. To know Him, to follow His commandments to obey him, to worship him, to pray to him, and to do good things like, you know, working, studying, playing lawfully. Yes. There are many, 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 many things that we can do. Of course, Doctor. Well, that's all we have time for right now. I guess we'll answer that question next time on Bridges. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thanks for watching us at home. Until next time, take care. Assalamu alaikum. From the mountains to the 